We don't need a motor, we don't need a sail, and we don't need no fins or gills, and we don't need a tail. Let's just keep it simple, we'll each get an oar, paddle out to no man's lake and float till we can't no more. Can you canoe on a little boat built for two? Can you canoe? I'll be a captain and your crew. Can you canoe if there's nothing better to do? I want to float down the river with you. We don't need no outlets. We don't need no outlets. Primetime entertainment will be lightning, bugs, and fires. Let's just keep it simple, unplugged and outside. Sound waves on the water don't need to be amplified. Can you canoe on a little boat built for two? Can you canoe? I'll be a captain and your crew. Can you canoe if there's nothing better to do? I want to float down the river with you. I'll take the bow, brother. You can take the stern. I'll move us forward and you choose when to turn. Let's just keep it simple, we all need a friend In this current moment, instead of looking around the bend Can you canoe on a little boat built for two? Can you canoe, I'll be a captain Well, good morning, everyone. I slept great last night. Oh my gosh, that rain coming down, the thunder. That was the perfect way to fall asleep in a lean-to. It's about uh, 7 a.m. now. Up, I'm moving around. I'm thinking about just making a light breakfast and then getting moving and then having something a little more substantial when I get to the next lean-to. Look at that beautiful water out there. And we are off. Everything is so sandy. Oh my god. That is the toughest part about doing a racket river trip. All the landings are like sand like it was here and it gets on everything. How many fish am I going to lose on this trip? What is going on? That was a really nice largemouth bass. He jumped out of the water and threw the whopper plopper back at me. Oh man, this is crazy.
How many fish have I lost on this trip? I'm not even, I, I haven't even come to count. This is crazy. Oh, he's a nice one too, come on. Should probably just net him. That's uh, probably the safest bet if I want to see this fish. Oof, he's got some fight. He's got some fight. Hey, he's in the net. Not a bad bass, you know. I mean, he really slammed that whopper plopper. It was a fun little fight. Back in you go, buddy. Oh man, I'm like running into this tree here. Ah, push myself off. What the heck? There's like fishing line caught in that tree. I gotta go get that out. I think that's what that is. Definitely is fishing line. What the hell? Why would someone leave this? This is so much line. I guess I got a free MEP spoon out of it. Super irresponsible though. <laughs> all right, I got it all. Look at this, this is a huge wad of a fishing line, like 10 pound test. I mean, it, like, I don't know. I don't know why you'd do that. If you were out here, you were in a boat. And, uh, I mean, I was able to get up to that. I don't know. It's irresponsible. It's not sportsmanlike. Another one here. There we go. That is a much nicer largemouth bass right there. That big bucket mouth. We're looking at an 18 incher there. Real solid, he's hefty. And he's back in the water. Very small pike. Holy Christ. Do not 
lot to get hooked. Look at that little guy. Definitely a pike though, not a pickerel. <laughs> Nice to catch one on the top water though. huge. Put up a hell of a fight though, that's for sure. Yeah, the way he was swimming, I, I saw his body from the top and thought I saw a pike diving and uh, yeah, I thought I had a big, not big, but you know, a little bigger than that last guy. Still, that was a nice smallmouth. We've covered three species this morning. It's pretty good. Looks like that lean-to I wanted was taken. Probably taken for a while as well. They uh, they looked like they had been set up there, so it's not like I arrived too late today or anything or dilly-dally too much. And uh, looking at my map, I think I'm just gonna continue on. Maybe I'll make lunch at Axton Landing at one of those campsites if one of those are open. It's getting to be that time getting a little hungry. Wow, that is quite a hill to take my gear up. Oh my god. little spot and there we go got a tarp up got the tent up camp is looking pretty good if it rains tonight I'll definitely still be able to have a fire under there and uh, yeah just kind of tooling around right now getting ready to make some lunch such a beautiful view from up here man this is a really nice sight Happy to call it home for the night. Eh, just starting to work on lunch now. Got the camp stove rolling. Got the pan on there with some oil in it. I'm gonna brown up some chicken and then dump on some butter chicken curry sauce. Let that simmer for 15 minutes. While that's going, get some rice ready. I got some naan bread back over there. This is gonna be good. Chicken starting to sizzle a little bit, brown up a little bit. Oh, I can't wait. I am so hungry. Alright, 
turn this way down. I took a little nap after I did all that, got a little tuckered out, just laid down for like an hour and a half, and I'm getting up, moving around now, and thinking I want to hop in the boat and maybe try to do some fishing out here. Not really sure if I'm far enough down river yet to start finding any walleye, but I've got the depth finder, so I'm going to look for some deep holes, and if not, I mean, there should be still plenty of pike and bass in here willing to bite, so... Yeah, I'm gonna get everything together now, hop in, and get to paddling. Head right next to the boat. I think it's a smallmouth. I think it's a pretty nice smallmouth. Yeah, it's a good one. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice little smallmouth. That was crazy. He grabbed that right next to the boat. I mean, I guess you saw it. It is such a nice night out here. Had a couple blow-ups I've missed. Uh, two so far. And then that one fish I landed. Just goes like that sometimes, you know? I am definitely astounded by the number of fish I've lost on this trip, though. It is, uh, it's kind of crazy. I mean, pike and bass, I don't know. Never had it, never had uh, a trip where I, you know, where, I'm, where I just know I lost so many. I would remember it. drag the boat around and bend the rod in half. That's crazy. Oof, he's digging. Nice little small out there. Some real nice bronze color to him. Those nice red eyes. Nice fish. Another tiny little pike on the whopper plopper here. Jeez, I can barely get my hands on him. He's so small. And he's got all the hooks in him somehow. Pike are crazy. I don't even know how he expected to eat that. Oh, come on, little guy. Come on, come on. I wonder where all the big ones are. 
Well, it's starting to get near nine o'clock here. I should probably get in, make something to eat, get a little fire going soon here. Oh, it's been a great day. I can't believe it. I, I caught quite a few fish today. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, dinner was great. This day's been great. Ending it off now with the uh, perfect s'more. Got some coals built up. Oh, I should actually. There we go, let that get a little melted. This is gonna be good. Look at that view. That's hard to beat from the inside of your tent. Wow. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna get up, start getting things packed and uh, look at a little something to eat. Yeah, so you can see, camp is pretty much all cleaned up. I'm just enjoying a real quick bowl of granola with milk and strawberries mixed berries and I got a couple more things to bring down and then we'll be on the move off to the Trombley landing lean to which I can hopefully get for myself today it's definitely gonna be a hot one close to 90 today Ugh. yeah I'd love to make a move before that happens so I'm gonna get all finished up here Throw some water on the remains of the fire and get a move on. Wow, what a gorgeous day. It really is unbeatable out here. My God, I know I say it a lot. It's just spectacular. We're on the moon. I got some tiny on. I was trolling with a shallow Rapala here and something grabbed it. Yeah, big old bluegill. Beautiful colors on this little thing, though. That's for sure. Hey, that's a decent pike. That's a real nice topwater pike. Wow. 
thought I had a big small mouth on it first. Oh, camera's facing kind of the wrong. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice little pike. What are we looking at here? 25 inches. Back in you go. Nice. Nice. Woo. Got the skunk off. I don't really count that little bluegill since, you know, it's so tiny. That was awesome. That was an awesome first real fish of the day. Wow, despite it being the middle of the week, I think both of those lean-tos I want are taken. But... I believe I'm coming right up on tent site number 21 here. I don't see a marker yet, but this has got to be it. Get out and have a look, I suppose. All right, I definitely found the campsite this time. I don't know. Why I couldn't find 21 back there, but this is definitely 22 here. Fire pit over there. Camp here disc to confirm. Wow, some really vibrant yellow mushrooms. Whoa. Look at those. Nice stack of wood. Apparently someone left their tree stand out here. Nice, I don't have to hunt for any firewood. That's awesome. Home for the night. Tiny, tiny little guy. I don't know how I even spotted him. But uh, yeah, tents all set up. Just getting a few more things arranged here. And I'm thinking it's about lunchtime. Getting hungry for sure. This spot's beautiful though. All these woods around me, right on the river like this. You can see my canoe there all tied up. This trip's been amazing. This is gonna go down as one of those real memorable ones for sure. Between the fishing and the camping and the canoeing, everything involved, this is, this has just been a great one, you know? And I still got, it's only Wednesday, I still got Thursday, Friday, heading home Saturday, so. Or maybe even I could give Stephanie to come out and camp for a day and we'd head home Sunday. That'll all depend on how the fishing is on Tupper Lake. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely lunchtime. I'm just going to, oh, tripping. Just, I don't know. I just spotted this here. What the heck is this? Huh. Oh, yeah. Like I said, time to get some food in me. All right, yeah, I think it's lunchtime. I am hungry. I've got a strawberry Skittle drink packet here. Flavor up my water. Oh, I need to squirt a little more in there. But uh, yeah, the rest of lunch is gonna be peanut butter and jam on some taco shells. Oh, that's gonna be good. Good and easy, no cooking, no nothing to do. I think this is the first time I've busted out Stephanie's camp chair while on this trip. I haven't really needed it in other places, but uh, man, am I glad to have it. It's probably time to get back out there and do some fishing. 
I've got camp all squared away. Whoop, tripping over the tent. I've got plenty of firewood for later. I think it's time to get out there and see if we can find a few more. Make up for this morning. Gotta be able to end the day with more than one pike and a bluegill, right? Oh, it's crazy steep getting down here. I just can't help but admire every time I come down to the water how pristine it looks. Man, I have been really, really lucky on this trip with how just great every aspect has been. Oh, oh yeah, time to get over there and fish. I didn't think this would really work. You just dropped the drop shot rig and a worm down and I've got a walleye. Look at that. That's crazy. He's not a keeper yet. Looks like he's only 13. That's amazing though. I didn't, I don't know. I guess I should have. I guess I should have known it would work. I just didn't, I've never used a drop shot rig before. I think John actually suggested I use this. So uh, thank you, John, man. You got me on a walleye. Let's see if we can catch a keeper for dinner. That would be awesome. Wow. That might be my first Adirondack walleye. So cool. What an awesome trip, man. Oh, wow. That's a keeper. Walleye. That's a nice walleye right there. Do I have my screen? Yeah, I do. This guy's coming back to camp with me. I'm gonna put him on the stringer for the minute, fish for a little bit longer, and then, uh, Take him back to camp and clean him. And another one. Much smaller. Oh wow, he really inhaled it. I think I can get it up though. That came out pretty easy. Okay, very small, but alive and back in to grow bigger. Awesome. You can? Got another one here. No, not further. Put right there. Okay. Feel like a good one too. Oh, this one's a bass, I think. Yeah, it's a small bow. Uh, yeah, he is at 13. Why, you want him? No, 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 I was just wondering if you could keep him. Oh, I don't really eat small bow. Uh, the, the walleye I got's really good eating, though. This is a walleye. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. No, my bad. Yeah, so they're, they're good for eating? Oh, yeah, they're considered the best. Oh. 
Yeah. Got another one. Bullhead. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a, That's the uh, fifth one. Nice. What's that? A bullhead. Bullhead? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Remind us of your YouTube channel? Dax Woods Wanderer. Dax Woods Wanderer? Yep. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. I'm going to comment and say I saw you on the trail. I'll comment right back. Alright. Are you posting this? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a big video. Wow, look how stunning that looks with the light hitting it over there. Man. This is unbeatable. Unbelievable. I feel like the luckiest man alive right now. Just sitting here like this, getting to take this in. It's crazy that some people go their whole lives and never experience something like this. I don't know. It boggles the mind. Well, I guess you can see I don't really fish for walleye often by how these fillets came out here. But uh, I've got several chunks of walleye in there. Some oil that's heating up right now. The very last of my oil, so I hope it's enough. Hey, that might be too hot. Can I just shut it off? quick. Looking good. Looking good. All right, water just finished boiling. I think these are about done. They're all browned up. Nice and crispy. What a meal, what a meal. We got the fire going over there. Now I just gotta add water to this. Cheesy bacon mashed potatoes. Need a little more. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this. <laughs> it smells so good. Alright. I'm gonna let all that cool down a little bit and it's gonna be time to dig in. I know it was super simplistic, but that had to have been one of the best meals I've ever eaten out on a camping trip. Something about 
how unsure I was if I would catch walleye, catching a keeper, it being my first Adirondack walleye. Like, this was... Man, this was a really special night. I... I, I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna go home and return to normal life after this. This was such an excellent trip. I've still got Thursday and Friday ahead of me too, so I'm hoping I can keep those worms alive long enough to get to Tupper Lake and maybe catch a couple more like this. I don't think I'll keep and eat anymore. You know that would seem greedy. Uh, one was enough, but I would love to catch some more. You know, I mean it's so rare for me to be somewhere with walleye that. Uh, I, I really enjoy the fight. They dig down. That was, it was exciting. But uh, yeah, I've got a pretty big cleanup ahead of me after cooking all that up here. So I'm gonna get to clean in, get everything sorted out, get my food in a tree, and uh, settle down for the night. Well, the food will go in the tree after some s'mores, but you all know that.